Hi everyone, today's lesson is about the song Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. It's a fairly straightforward song, so I'm going to split the lesson up into explaining the notes. That will take maybe 30% of this, of this lesson. And then the rest of the lesson, I'll show you some techniques on how to build up the song and how to make it more interesting. So the song is fairly basic. It's a waltz in C major, which is C, E, G, and C. Uh, so I'll go through the notes uh, and um, and then again go over how to make the song more interesting. So the intro to the song is just C major to A minor. Do that twice. And in my left hand, I'm just doing C major to A minor. C, A minor, C, A minor. And now we start the song. C, G, 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 A, A, A. C, G, 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 A, A, A. E, G, E, A, 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 G, G, G. G, G, F, G, G. Again. C, G, 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 A, A, A. E, A, 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 G, G, F, G, G. Okay, that's the first part. And the left hand, again, it's a waltz. It's going to go C major. A minor, again C, A minor, F, G, C, and then we do a G. So again, the rhythm goes C major, A minor. C major, A minor, F, G, C, to G. Okay. Now I'm not doing an alternate bass technique. I'm doing a straight up um papa, which is just C, C major, C major, C, C major, C major. I'm not going um papa, um papa. Okay, I'm just doing straight up C, C major, C major. So that's part A of the song. To play them both together. G. Sorry, my microphone fell, but we're still recording. Uh, so, part two of the song goes like this. C, G, 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 A, A, B, G, C, 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 B, A, C, C, D, C, D, 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 E, 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 D, D, C. Okay, so that's the... C, G, 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 A, A, B, G, C, 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 B, A, C, C, D. I can't sing that high. C, D, 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 E, 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 D, D, C. Okay? It's fairly straightforward right hand. Just keep going over it slowly. The left hand here goes C, G. So C. F. G, A, A minor, F, G, to E, A minor. So that's, that might be a bit confusing. Um, again, let's do it again a bit slower. So it's C major. It goes like this, F, G, A minor. Walk down to the F. This is probably the biggest jump from the A minor to the F to G 
to E major. I'm playing the E major 7, so remember major minor 7. To A minor. Together they sound like this. Okay, so the ending there was and then you're going to go to the chorus which is hallelujah which is E G A A A G E E E G A A A G E F E D so that's really straightforward, which is again E G A A and back down A G E E E G A A A G E F E D C. The left hand goes. We were on A minor. E G A. Sorry. We go from the A minor to the F. G, A minor. G to F. G to C. G, C. Back to the intro, to the A minor. Let's do the chorus again. F major. G A minor. G F major. G C major. To the G. C. Okay, so that's the song. Those are the parts. Um, the first time around the song, I like to play it with single notes like I did now, which is, you know... But after the first chorus, it's nice to bring some, some mix into it. Um, and let's, let's talk about that. What I like to do is I like to start layering more than one note at a time. It doesn't have to happen everywhere, but let's say in the beginning, we know that we're going from a C to an A minor, which is just... There's some common notes there. If you know a C major is C, E, G. And an A minor, you can play, you know, it's A, E, A, C, E. So why not play... Right? That's another version of an A minor, the C, E, and the A. So let's say we would st I would start off the second part of the song by playing... doing here is I know the, the the notes and the chords right it's C to A minor and then F to the G to the C major so I'm trying to play at least two notes from those chords that coincide with the song we learned the melody so I'm just playing some accompanying notes like this And what that looks like really slowly is... So my thumb is staying on the C because it's a common note. Actually, this is just an F, right? A C and an A without with leaving out the F. Or I could actually put in the F. And then G to C. So I'm keeping these two fingers down I'm trying to play the melody with just one finger. 
the continuation. Right, I'm going from the F to G to A minor. And this is totally you exploring how chords connect. Again, that was, I think, a bit too much to try and tie, tie every note to another note with some extra notes in it. But just play around. See how you, you could switch your hands from an F to a G to an A minor. And then try another variation. while keeping the song in mind, uh, the melody of the song. So, for example, where it says, you know, the baffled king's composing hallelujah, you could really build that up by playing... And if you watch my performance video, um, yeah, you'll see me, I guess, play around with those chords. It's never the same way twice, uh, but the thing that, dif that happens is the lead is always there, that... Sorry, I'm playing the wrong notes, obviously. Those are all variations on G to E to A minor. Um, so I would suggest practicing those. Something else, another technique for playing the song is with your left hand. I've been playing um, staccato, so separated rhythms. And we actually we just did a lesson on legato based technique and I would really suggest it for this song. Uh, especially for when you want to build up the song. So the Baffert King's composing Hallelujah versus staccato, which doesn't sound bad, but the legato really builds it up. Why am I not getting this right? Staccato. Now I'm going to switch to legato. I'm going to switch from legato to staccato. So this is a really nice song to play with those uh, elongated notes to really short notes. And again, to play one or single note melodies to multiple. Multiple. So there's so many things you can do with a song. This song people love to sing to, uh, and it's a song that you can sing to as well. Um, and I'm going to do another tutorial on how to sing along with the accordion. Uh, but keep in mind that when you're singing, uh, you don't necessarily have to play the melody line. The song is really uh, pleasant with just just oom papas. And if you remember my last video, the right hand accordion. Uh, waltz technique. This song is really nice for it with elongated notes. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So 
if you are having a sing along, uh, you can try all of those things, all those techniques to get uh, techniques together. Let me know what you think. Um, we are having live webcasts on Patreon right now. They're for patrons only, but I'll try and make those webcasts available uh, to all the subscribers as well, and give you sort of a, a day or two heads up. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you.